I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cardinals. Happy Thursday. Four more days of announcements, and it's the last announcement of the week. I'm Santi. And I'm Mati. Here's today's sustainability tip. Wrap your water heaters. For just a few dollars, you can wrap your water heater in a heat blanket, saving cash and reducing carbon emissions. And now, let's begin your daily announcements. Join the choir tonight at 7.30 in the PAC for the Spring Choir Concert Postcards. It's free. There will be performances by the three curricular choirs, as well as the Bristol Street, a cappella group, and the extracurricular chamber choir. This particular concert will feature music from around the world and will include songs in 13 different languages. We hope to see you there. Seniors, come participate in the Senior Goodbye video today during lunchtime. Share your post high school plans and your favorite MHS memories. Stop by the bottom of the social stairs to record. Do you have ideas for the MHS libraries? Yes. Next year there will be two libraries. The library is looking for student representatives for a new student library board that will officially launch next year. If you're interested, please fill out the short form on the library website or scan, or scan a flyer postcard around the building. Please see Ms. Fiorito in the LMC for more information. Speaking of the library, the library will be giving away summer reading books tomorrow. This will be limited to one book per person and while the supplies last. You get to keep the book! Investment Club meets next Wednesday, June 1st during ASR 1 in room 3807 in the three-story stack. They'll be wrapping up the investment competition for the year, discussing market trends, celebrating the seniors, and talking about leadership opportunities for next year. <sighs> champions Log. Well, X Champions Log. Day 3300. <sighs> I know my therapist said I should send her more of these logs to try and give her an idea of what she's working with, but to be honest, I don't even know what's wrong with me. There's... there's just so much going on. I still remember what happened on takeover day, and to be honest, I don't think I deserve to come back. I failed my friends, my love, and my region, and yet the legends resurrected me when hundreds of braver souls perished. Well, till me and Ruby figure out this mystery, I'm going to get back to drawing. I found this new pen that works amazingly well. It was real, it was fun, and boy it was really fun. But alas, the Fine Arts Gallery show has come down. If you had anything displayed and want it back, please head down to Studio 13. Rooms 1328, 1329, and 1331, and talk to one of the art teachers. A big thank you to all that artists that contributed. It was the best Fine Arts Week show yet. Kick Club has their final meeting on the school year tomorrow. They are playing bingo. See there in the North Commons during ASR 1 on Friday. Unclaimed lost and found items are being donated on June 8th. You have until then to claim your items before they get donated. Lost and Found is located in the Antares Center in room 3120. If you're going to Madison College next fall and have not registered for your courses yet, please come to the LMC today from 12.45 to 3 o'clock to meet with Madison College staff. UW Credit Union wants to help you stay fueled up for finals. Stop by the UW Credit Union office across from the Athletics office on next Wednesday to grab a snack to keep you going through the final weeks of school. UW Credit Union congratulates everyone on a great school year and can't wait to see you all in the spring for the grand opening of our new branch office in the new wing. Coming up in a week, the MHS Orchestra will perform selections from Carl Arf's Carmina Borana, along with other works by Barber, Kerr, and more. This show will also feature the MHS Concert Choir and members of the MHS Chamber Winds. There will be awards and senior recognition. Be there on Wednesday, June 1st at 7.30 in the PAC. 
That's all we have, but stay tuned for this week's fake news episode. Bye. Bye. We're late for class. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. That was so scuffed. I think that was one take magic. No, 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 no. I would very much so like another take, please. <laughs> Hello, I'm Elodine Eliason. And I'm Jeremiah Kim. And this is the fake news. How was your weekend, Jeremiah? Oh, it was pretty good. I did things. Yeah. Yeah. How was your weekend, El? Uh, it was. It was the final episode of SNL. It was also Pete Davidson's final episode. And I cried. I really love that funny tattoo, man. Apple has announced that they will be discontinuing the iPod. iPod users can expect one more software update that will not allow the iPod to play any music except for Rick rolling you every two to four hours. I got something funny to tell on the fake news. It was pretty funny. Thank you. I got some <coughs> complaints that the quality of last week's show was not good. That's right, L. I had to experience them. I was brutally bullied, L. I am not the same person I was before. I will never forgive you. It was all your fault that the quality was poor just because you didn't feel like editing the show properly. You didn't cut out the parts where, that I told you to. And on top of that, all the lines you wrote for me just said, say something funny and weren't actual lines. L, your video editing skills are so... Anyway, well, L... I think that I'm going to take that camera as recom- <laughs> I cannot speak. Well, I'll, I'm going to take that camera as recompensation. No, it's mine. No! <laughs> Aha! How does it feel for the tables to be turned? Oh no! Wait, just wait, I gotta say the next one. Alright. Rivers Cuomo, frontman of the band Weezer this week, died just like Buddy Holly in an airplane crashed in Iowa. Jeremiah, have you calmed down now? Warrior. Have you no! Down? Have you calmed down? Have you calmed down? Get no! Warrior. Get over here. <laughs> Take a seat. Take a seat. Have you calmed down now? No. Okay. I hope it didn't have to come to this. I have mastered the secrets of the gray void where this show takes place. I can make it do whatever I'm thinking with a snap of my fingers. So could you like turn it into something more interesting than this gray background we have here? Yeah, I can go. This week cryptic <clears throat> messages have been playing at the end of the announcements. Here to comment is Jeremiah Kim. Say something funny. Thank oh. you, Jeremiah, for coming on our show. Oh, I'm so glad to be here, Elle. Finally, mm -hmm. after all these weeks of negotiation, I've finally got my I know. position on here. I know. It's crazy. Fake right. news, Junior. Yeah. All right, what's my line? Say something funny. Wow. That's not your line anymore. Go to your next okay. This week, police have arrested a man for selling inescapable handcuffs. He gave people free trials and then refused to unlock them until they bought the pair they were wearing. Ironically, he was put in the same cuffs that he was trying to sell. Oh. <laughs> this week I asked once again, where is Baby Bunny? Baby Bunny was in full session during the government on Wednesday. Baby Bunny was a fierce competitor and didn't get anywhere because government is rigged. Next week will be the last episode of Fake News, so despair or rejoice, your choice. If you would like to be on the fake news next week, you can write a script for yourself and email us at mhsfakenews at gmail.com. All submissions are due by Tuesday, March 31st. I'm Elodie Eliason. And I'm Jeremiah Kim. And this, this has, has been, been the fake news. news.